Tonight, Republican congressional nominee Diana Harshbarger says she will not attend a political debate. News 5's Caleb Perney pressed her on why as the campaign to succeed Phil Rowe heats up as we continue our Beyond the Podium coverage. Will you debate your opponents? I'm not going to participate in the debate. After skipping out on all debates during the Republican primary, nominee Diana Harshbarger says she won't debate Democrat Blair Walsingham or Independent Steve Holder. I'm not going to give someone a platform who disrespects our policemen and women. I'm just not going to do it. What's your reaction to that? That's a blatant lie and an excuse. I think it's really unfair to the voters and it's a uh, disregard for the entire process of running for election. Is it part of the way democracy functions to let the voter make that decision seen Absolutely. both platforms in a debate forum? Well, you know, remember, I wasn't a politician. I am a pharmacist. I'm a business owner. So maybe this is a new kind of politician. Maybe I've started a trend to where I would rather go out and speak to those voters one on one or in groups and answer those questions. Walsingham says she's talking with voters too, but she says by skipping debates, Harshbarger is trying to get off easy. That's what you do and that's what you're going to have to do in Congress. It's not going to be only friendly people who uh, already know your opinion and agree with it. But independent candidate Steve Holder says he's not doing in-person events because of the pandemic. I'm not trying to hold rallies. I'm not trying to do town halls. I don't want to be part of a problem. I want to be part of a solution. He wants Harshbarger to debate so voters can engage safely at home. I think Diana does not want to debate because she's scared of being honest and real with the people. Are you scared to go on the debate stage? Listen, there is nothing in my life that I have been afraid of. Both Holder and Walsingham say they'll agree to debate even without Harshbarger, but they think there's not much point. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense for us to have a debate since we have the same platform ideas. We share a lot of the same ideas on majority of the same opinions. Caleb Burney, News 5, WCYB. In a statement to News 5, Representative Rowe stood by Harshberger's decision. He said in part, debates are just one way voters can get to know candidates. I've seen Diana throughout the district over the past few months talking with East Tennesseans, so I'm confident voters will have all the information they need to make a decision regardless of debates. Voters will go to the polls, of course, November 3rd.